We are going to learn how to use the built-in level builder slash prototyping tool in Godot 4. This is basically an updated version of the video garbage made since some stuff has changed for Godot 4 and if you want to see more tutorials hit that subscribe button. So let's get started with making this a 3D scene. Right clicking node 3D and add a child node. Search for CSG and add the CSG combiner 3D node. The CSG combiner works as a container and allows you to do boolean operations. Now right click on CSG combiner and add a CSG box. You can drag it out with these points and if you can't see these points you have gizmos turned off and you can turn them on in perspective. And if you want it to snap you can enable this magnet up here and now it snaps. Now duplicate your CSG box by pressing ctrl D and make it a little bit smaller. Important settings here is the operations and let's start with intersection. This makes it so the only thing you can see is the parts that's intersecting with it. I don't see many uses for it. Next up subtraction. This subtracts from the other shape and pretty useful for making windows and doors. And then there's a couple more shapes you can try out. Also make sure to enable use collision on your CSG combiner otherwise your player will just fall through it. Lastly, I'll show you how to add a grid pattern like in other game engines. In the description you can get some grid textures. Now in the inspector, next to material, click empty and a new standard material 3D. Click on the standard material 3D and scroll down to albedo and drag in your texture. It might look a little bit weird now, but go down to UV1 and enable triplanar and enable world triplanar. I recommend saving this, so next to material, select this little drop down arrow and hit save. Now you can use this material in the future with everything enabled. And if you have any questions leave them down below and if you're still here you should join my discord server.